Good morning and welcome to the third hour of today on this Wednesday, February 10th. I'm Chanel here with Al and Craig and Dylan. Guess what today is? Uh, hump day. day. No. A, bir a birthday of some kind? No. What An anniversary? That? Today is report card day. I used to oh, love that. Yeah. Are you nervous? Oh, you were excited? On a, like thin little flimsy piece of paper. Yes, yeah, so like on. pink or yellow. Yeah, and it went uh -huh. into that envelope. So who's getting a report card? Uh, you are. First of all, we're going to check your medicine cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to check yours too. Take. Where is Craig's medicine? Yet? I'm gonna what, be did you not do your homework? You yes. I, I forgot you to turn all right. So <laughs> after we see your medicine cabinets and ours, all of that good stuff, by the way, Natalie is going to share the five staples you should always have on hand and tell you what to do with those bottles that have been in there for years. <laughs> you have a cold, but you don't want to waste the, whole, the rest of I the... I know. You only you use know. a tablespoon. So you put it back. It. We'll talk mm. about that. Uh, and then our friend Vicki Wynn, uh, she's going to be here to tell us about a group that's also giving out its own grades, some very serious report cards here. Mm -hmm. um, they're keeping tabs on the huge corporations that pledged all that money to social justice efforts. Mm. We're going to find out which ones are really walking the talk, who's putting their money where their mouths were. That's good. All right. And then we've got a bit of a buzz here today because... So, a lot from them in 2021. And beyond. And beyond. Oh, One of my sure. new favorite all-time groups, by the way, Black Pumas. Looking forward to that. All Proof that he's superhuman. It's true. Not <laughs> really. Not <laughs> all. No, I'm just so old. Nothing. Nothing <laughs> okay. works anymore. Tingling going on, but other oh than that, well, no, I'm fine. That's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So in this era... When we signed something... I do. Like, in 2019, that they were going to deliver to Mars on a, mm -hmm. on a chip... So I we're, remember we're, the we're going to Names are stenciled in. So we're yeah. going to, we're going to be. Like Mars. a time capsule type thing? So when thing? the Martians are angry about what's going on, <laughs> Remember, Melvin <laughs> and Dreyer. And it's pretty easy, to, Jones. pretty easy to Google you and find Maybe you. we should scrap it. Actually. There you yeah, go. Whoops. I love that. Well, it's fitting that we're talking about the Red Planet because Valentine's Day is coming oh. up this weekend. Our very own Al Roker and his wife, Deborah Roberts. Oh, you got to say, how are you making this work? Me, me, me. It's all about me. I but you also that. talk about prostate cancer. Yes, we talk yeah. about prostate cancer. All right. People's <laughs> love issue hits newsstands all over the country on Friday. Congratulations. Well, well thank yeah. you very much. Yes. Thanks, Deborah. <laughs> but uh, also, we want to thank our pal Vicki Wynn because she's here with a consultant. Then a little bit later, we want to get to know your medicine cabinet, what you should always have on hand, and what to do with all those expired pills and liquids when we come back. And welcome back. The racial and social justice reckoning of 2020 led to some big money pledges from many of this country's largest corporations, corporations all over the world, in fact. But Who's actually tracking that progress? Well, that's where NBC News investigative and consumer correspondent Vicki Wynn comes in. An important story this morning. Work with corporations on all of these issues. Fascinating story. Vic, what, what uh, shall we say, ahead of the curve when it comes to dealing with racial progress? But it is interesting, and people can go to this website, look it up, and kind of make decisions. You vote with your you can consider. And consumers are making themselves known about yes. how they feel about it. In a big way. Thank you, Vicky. Thanks as always. We know you'll keep tabs on that. Uh, just ahead, we'll switch gears a bit. Overheard on well, it is time for Overheard. Hello. That's on a great word. shot, too. I would love that. I would love it. So, uh, so go, Anthony. Yeah. Anthony. Hey. Anyway, we've got the <laughs> perfect video oh. for this morning. Uh, but we, we're going to pause for just a second oh uh, because the script Keep is littered oh. with a pun. Uh, in fact, we had to put a clause in here to tell you <laughs> all of that. A Texas attorney at PAW oh. appeared on Zoom court. But because of a filter... Turned out he appeared as a cat. Everybody wants to be a cat. Here it is, <laughs> in case you missed it. Yeah, yeah, to, so that if they know if they've been willing in, in exchange for being able to travel so again. I just read that maybe in... You know, I think obviously public health is paramount, especially right now. We You've had COVID, whether or not you still have antibodies. So we know that there are some safe yeah. people who can travel. What about you? Would you do it? Well, I think if I had the extra things that I just said, and it was actually more useful than... I yeah. want to know who's had a vaccine. Exactly. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm with you. Like, but you I, can't. What it was? So you get a yellow bracelet. I get a pink one, and yours is yellow because you've had the vaccine. Yeah. yeah. And I, no. I, like, <laughs> like I have antibodies. I want to shout out for the I would do, stuff. especially if I would get to go to God's country, South Carolina. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, so North Charleston High School principal that you good. highlighted, uh, Henry Darby, who took a part-time job at Walmart to help his students. Well, guess what? South Carolina has given him the highest civilian. Well, that was great. Yeah, you brought us that story. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, coming up next, Dr. Natalie Azar helping. All this
this week, we've been aiming you with information to stay healthy this year. And this morning, we are getting to know the medicine <laughs> cabinet here to break down what Welcome back. Even though the psychedelic rock band Black Pumas have only been together for a few years, they've reached impressive heights. You might have seen them performing recently at President. So here performing their hit song, Colors, Black Pumas. Yes, wow. I've got okay. Black Pumas, the deluxe version of their self-titled. Back tomorrow when we run down some of the best romantic reads for Valentine's Day. Mm, coming up on Hoda and Jenna, country superstar Blake Shelton and the predictions his grandma made that came.